Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex, and today I want to present to you two exciting projects on the internet computer. They are decentralized social media platforms. They have been around for the past two years. They are called District and Discover. And what is exciting about them is that they are decentralized and hosted entirely on the internet computer protocol, meaning that every message, every post, every picture shared on any of those platforms is hosted entirely on the blockchain, which is unheard of outside of the internet computer protocol. This is literally not possible anywhere else besides here where the cost to host one gigabyte per year is like $5, which is incredible. The first one that we're gonna look at is District, which is similar to Twitter. We can see here their team. All of them are docs. They're well-known people inside the ICP community and outside the ICP community. They have a solid roadmap and a working product. So this is truly a great, great project to look out for. And the best part, neither District nor Discover have a token right now. And today I will show you how to create an account and how to, you know, interact with the platforms because maybe there will be an airdrop in the future. First of all, we need to have an internet identity. If you don't have one already, well, shame on you because we've already had two videos about internet identities. But for the sake of this video, we'll create one super quick right now. So we go to nns.ic0.app and here we click on sign in with with internet identity to create one internet identity. We create a passkey, then we complete a CAPTCHA, and that should be it. This is your identity anchor. You want to save this. So we saved it, continue, and we will log in into the NNS dashboard. We are now logged in. Great. So we go to the first platform. And as we said, the first platform is called District. It's the decentralized alternative of Twitter or X now. And it's built entirely on the Internet Computer Protocol. Let's have a look at some of the features they have available here. Let's sign up with our new internet identity. Awesome. So the first thing that happens when you log in into District with your internet identity, you need to choose your username, which is going to be your handle and your display name. And now we have logged into District. We go to our profile and here we can add a profile picture, a cover picture, a description. Some of the new features that District has implemented, and I believe this is the newest one, they created a feature called District, which is similar to groups. So anybody can create a group. For example, we have here Book Club, IC People, ICP Army, and those groups groups act like communities. For example, if you have an NFT project, you want to engage with your community, you can create a district there. You can talk to your community. Another thing that is possible in district is you have a wallet connected to your profile. And recently district, the company has awarded some of the most active users on district with their own NFTs. Another cool thing that you can do on district is you can send tips. So for example, let's say you make a post on District and I really like the post, I can click on this button and send you a tip. You would need to have either CKBTC or ICP in your wallet. You can actually take District to your phone. They have a mobile app. It basically has all the functionalities and utilities of a normal social media app. But the selling point is that it is decentralized. So your data is not controlled or sold by the company that owns the platform, which I think is great. It gives power back to the people. We have the home feed where we see the people that we follow or the hot posts that District recommends. Here we can see the most exciting posts that have been uh, posted on District. Then we have the Districts tab, as I mentioned, where we have the groups. Then we have our accounts dashboard where we have the wallet. Usually here in the wallet, if we were to have any airdrops received from District or from other groups, they would be here. The profile tab, notifications, direct messages, and this is articles. Once again, I want to emphasize this. Everything is hosted on the internet computer blockchain. Let's do our first post. Hello world. And we add the cute kitty. The most exciting part of it is that although they have been building their platform for the past two years, they have been here since the inception of the internet computer protocol. They have not yet launched a token on the roadmap quarter for 2023, they will have an SNS and governance rollout. We did a video on how to invest in the SNS. I recommend everybody create an account, set up the account with a profile picture, a cover picture, do a couple of posts, follow, you know, a bunch of people and interact with some people, you know, at least a few times a week in case there will be an airdrop to make sure that you are eligible for this airdrop. There is no harm in doing those things and maybe receiving an airdrop. Now let's have a look at discover 
which is more similar to the platform Reddit. We will log in, we will sign up the same way with our newly created internet identity. We will uh, join Discover this time. So we have this feed and then we have the portals which are the equivalent of subreddits on Reddit. There is usually a portal for everything. We have NASA, we have football and discover, we have world history. Let's join a bunch of portals. Let's join the official discover one. Let's join the general one. We will just join NFTs, memes, because we love memes. Let's explore a little bit inside those portals. So let's go into NFTs. Let's see what's the hot topics in NFTs. And here we can find the posts made by the community. Very, very similar to Reddit, if you guys are familiar with it. We can like posts, reply to people, and let's see if we can add a comment here. That is so cool. Perfect. And we, we post our reply here and there you go. This is completely decentralized and completely on the Internet Computer Blockchain. My response here will forever be on the ICP blockchain for the next generations to see. Great, so we have portals. Everybody can create a portal and everybody can join a portal. The cool thing with portals, so for example, if you are an NFT project, right? And you wanna have a portal, you only wanna allow people that hold your NFT to join your portal, you can do that. So those are called NFT gated communities where you can only join them if you hold a specific NFT. Cool. So those are the portals. In the portals, you can post anything you want. So let's let's try and do a post. You can add a picture, you can add text, you can add links, polls, everything you want. Okay. And we added this photo of, the, of this cute cat and we'll post it. And this will post it to my profile that I just created. And there you go. Incredible. This is incredible. Great. So we have successfully posted on both platforms, which is incredible. Let's have a look at what else we can do on Discover. There is a section where you can play games similar to an arcade. And I think that the games that you can play here on Discover are also hosted entirely on the ICP blockchain. And sometimes the team from Discover, they run, you know, competitions and the person that gets the highest score in a specific game wins the prize, whatever that prize is. We have here Mario. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, actually, this one I think is pretty cool. Fun games that you can play whenever there is a contest you play and uh, you win that prize. And the newest features that they have is the For You page here where they give you a feed of the hottest posts that people have made in, uh, you know, in the past. And you can modify this and select to show posts from the people that you're following and the portals you're in before anything else. And when, when that finishes, you, you get to the For You stream of posts, which is also cool. So there is tens of thousands of people using both Discover and this trick. They have been around for the past two years since ICP's inception and they don't have a token just yet. As soon as they will launch a token and hopefully uh, it's gonna be through the SNS launchpad, the ICP community will be crazy. And I think that DeFi will start in the ICP ecosystem because those are big, big projects that people have been using for the past years. I recommend that you also create an account on Discover, make a few posts, follow a few people, join a few portals because maybe in the future there will be an airdrop and to be eligible for that airdrop, you will need to have an active account right? Pretty cool apps, pretty straightforward. Thank you very much for watching. If we missed anything, let us know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.